Looking at the audit history of a material item, and this will show when an item's reference code or description or costs have been amended. So if I go to my materials, I just search for some MDF. If I just double click on one, I can then click the audit history button and we can now see when various things have been changed. So we can see highlighted here that the description has been amended. Uh, we can see when the code's been amended. Uh, we could see when uh, the current cost has been amended. So it's showing the price of what it was on the 18th of the 2nd at £34 and what it is now at £34. If I go back to general details, you can see there it's at £34.45. Um, similarly, if any of the supplier costs have been changed, it will be highlighted there. So if we have a look at how that works, if I go to the supplier cost and let's say we alter the Law Chris price from 34.25 to 34.50, and then I save that, then when I go back to that record and look at the audit history, we can see there it's highlighted it was at 34.25 on the 21st at 16.51, and it's now at 34.50. So it's quite easy to pick out what's been changed and when. Now, if I want to do a report of when the estimated cost has been changed for a few items, if I go back to my list here, I have the facility to highlight selected records, and then top right, there's a button that says Form Cost Audit Report. It might be hidden by this video. So I just click on that. It would then ask me if I want to specify dates of the cost audits. It might not be that I want year after year. So I can say, yes, specify the dates. So for this uh, exercise, I'm going to say I want everything for this year. So 01, 01, uh, 22 until today and then click search, and then forms the report. Now I'll just preview this on screen. So if I print preview, you should be able to see this. So it then generates a report of each of the items and then it will list all the um, price changes that have happened and when they've happened. I'll just close that report and then just click finish when I've done. So that's all there is to looking at your cost audits.